welcome or welcome back to my channel and today is if alternative fashions were cute girls part two because originally i had five in the other video but could only get three out to actually get the video out on time for you guys and last time we did kawaii k decora k and scene kids or just scene and I gotta say, you guys really liked that video. I'm surprised it got that many views in such a short amount of time. And I want to say thank you to all of you that actually watched the video and commented or liked the video at all. If you watched the last video, then you know that I got this video idea from Sona Draw Stuff. They do topics like this all the time where they will talk about and draw characters that aren't human and turn them into a human or cute girls and I see that it's a really popular idea so I decided to take my own twist on it. Now I'll put up the two sketches for the last two fashions that I was supposed to do in the other video and also in the other video I did say that it was going to be streetwear and hippie. Yeah let's get started. So first one, like I said, is going to be streetwear, and as stated by Wikipedia, it says that streetwear is a style of casual clothing which became global in the 1990s. It grew from New York hip-hop fashion and Californian soul culture to be encompassed elements of sports, punk, skateboarding, 1980s nostalgia, and Japanese street fashion. Hari Contour, I don't know if I'm saying that right, became an influence and was in turn influenced by streetwear, streetwear centers, on comfortable clothing and accessories such as jeans, t-shirts, baseball caps, and sneakers. So in short, this style is basically kind of like very baggy clothes. It's very tomboyish. If, if a girl is wearing it, it's very tomboy-like. It's like 90s hip-hop fashion, basically. And um, so I'm just drawing this girl with that on. I'm drawing her with very baggy clothes, a baggy sweater. And she's supposed to have a crop top on, but I'm not sure if you can really tell if she does but i think i just made it a tank top instead and so she's wearing a hoodie a very baggy hoodie she's wearing baggy jeans or just baggy pants and she's wearing big sneakers to make herself look make her, her feet look bigger and she has a baseball cap with headphones and her hair is back in a bun and later i do add um uh, her hitting that grass if you could call it if you know what i mean then you know So I kind of sped through that outlining because I mean it's just outlining nobody really wants to sit and watch you outline a drawing. So we're on to the coloring now and I kind of just went wild with the colors here. Um, she has like this pink hair and it's, like it's bright, it's bright. And I know that it usually clothes aren't this bright unless you buy them from certain places that specialize in that. But it's a drawing so we're going to leave it as that even if it doesn't make sense. So her hair is red, her cap is blue, headphones are like a dark grayish black color, and her sweater is just gray. And um, I add stripes, red stripes, onto the sweater and jeans, and I um, then the cuffs of the pants and the sweater are also red to kind of give more, I guess, red to the drawing because it's only one spot where it's red. And I'm using red as an accent color for the clothes, basically. And her shoes are a very dark reddish purplish color. And um, for the background, I decided to play around with the assets that were in IBIS Paint. For a first time, um, it's not the best, but it's a first time, so we can make improvements as we go along the way. And um, uh, later I end up changing her eyes to this light pink color because, you know, grass be getting you, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. So I uh, just wanted to make it more accurate. 
And uh, yeah, here she is. You can see all the changes that I have made to it and the grass in the background as well. And here is the other fashion, which is hippie. And as you can see in the sketch, I had two choices for shoes, but I ultimately ended up going with the sandals instead. And for what we have here, I, I really like the hippie fashion. I like how chill it is, how loose the clothing is and just how casual it is I, I feel like it's very comfortable and basically hippie fashion is you know bell bottom pants vests tie-dye garments and you know blouses and stuff like this long skirts as what my character is wearing a long skirt and uh, usually the clothes that they wear is loose, like I said, and some of them, more of most of them, have floral patterns on them, which I do end up giving to my character with one of the brushes. And I also decided to get a little bit experimental with using some of the brushes that I usually don't use, like the lace brush, because the top I wanted her to wear, I wanted the front part where the bra cups are for it to be laced as like one of those tank tops that you see most people, not most people, but some people wearing like uh, these ones right here that I'll put up on the screen. And yeah, I also gave her like this messenger bag. It has some stars on it and some X's. Those are like the stitches because I would like to believe that she made the bag herself and so the X's are just from holes ripping in over time because well she's not that experienced when it comes to sewing and stuff like that so she's had to sew it back up over and over again so that's what the small X's are for and also she has um, a bandana on with it's over her hair which um, wasn't in the sketch when I gave her the long ponytail yeah, it's like a very, very fluffy, very curly type of ponytail. And she just has very long hair, so she has to put it back somehow. I also gave her some earrings that I also like to believe that she made herself with like resin or plastic or something. And she put them on strings and then the hooks for your ears to make them earrings. And also she got this necklace from, I would assume, a thrift store or some type of cheap fashion store or something like that. More of a thrift store though. And the necklace is actually the evil eye necklace. Um, it says the evil eye symbol has been found through thousands of years of history across cultures, including Latin America and parts of Asia. The symbol most often depicted as four concentric circles in the shape of an eye is used to ward off vantages and evil intentions. So basically the necklace is just to protect the person wearing it and to save them or prevent evil from happening to them. So now I'm coloring her and FYI, I changed the color of the strap of her messenger bag multiple times because it just didn't look right. The blue stood out too much to me and I really, really do like how the skirt came out though with the floral pattern and a gradient and the um, those lines on her skirt is supposed to be, they, they're supposed to be like a, a 3D type of thing so basically they would come out a little bit like as small ruffles I guess and um yeah so I gave her sandals her sandals are like this peach color the hairband is a dark green and the skirt has a gradient and her bandana which I'm doing right now her bandana has the iconic well bandana pattern I I'm not sure what it's called but if I figure it out I will put it on the screen and here she is. I really do like how she came out, especially because of the skirt. That's probably the main reason why I like it so much. Just the gradient and how well the colors are together. Um, I really do love it. And I think I'm going to try and do this again in future drawings.
So out of all five of them, which one do you think is your favorite? I have to say out of all five of them, my favorite is probably Decora just because of how colorful it is and just how bright and pretty it is to look at. It may be an eyesore for some people, but I really like it. Thank you for watching, thank you for all the support and views and likes on the last video. I really, really do appreciate it with how my channel has been lately. I haven't been getting that many views and stuff, so I really do appreciate you guys actually watching the video and interacting with it. So, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!